Hello everyone, I'm Auntie Mimi. I'm so glad you're here. You may have seen me before in the Magic Garden. And if you have, you'll know that I live there with the fairies and the talking animals. And maybe you already helped me look after the magic tree or planted some seeds or watered some flowers or maybe said hello to the butterflies and bees. Well, today I'm going to let you into a little secret. Shh. It's a little bit magic and it's just for you. Do you know how to use your imagination? Yes, of course you do. You use it every day when you play. Well, your imagination is a little bit magic, but not everybody knows. Children sometimes do. Grown-ups sometimes forget. So I'm going to tell you a story and you can be in the story. Would you like that? Oh, good. And it will make you feel so happy and remind you how wonderful you are. Shall we start? Well, first, make sure you're comfortable. You can pause the video here and maybe lay down on your bed or sit on a comfy chair and have your favourite toys around you. Maybe a little blanket or dressing gown on top of you to keep warm. Ready? Close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose and as you breathe out through your mouth, feel your body relax and take another big breath in through your nose and breathe out gently through your mouth, pushing all the air out and relax. One more time, in and out. And relax your whole body. The Magic Garden is a wonderful place that belongs to Mr. Forget-Me-Not. When he was a little boy, he could see me and all the fairies and talking animals that live here. But when he grew up, he forgot about them and thought it was just his imagination. But it was real. And lots of wonderful things happen in this garden. You can come here whenever you like. You just need to know how and I'm going to show you. Oh look, here comes a little bunny rabbit. It seems very excited to see you. Maybe you already know this bunny. Does it have a name? Oh, it's saying that you do know its name. So you can say the bunny's name now. That's right. And it's so cute and fluffy. Can you picture the bunny in your mind? It's doing little hops and flips because it's ever so excited to see you. This bunny is going to lead you into the magic garden now. It's saying you already have the key. All you have to do is rub the thumbnail on one hand with your other thumb. You can look at me on the screen if you're not sure how to do it. That's right, nice and gently. Now you can close your eyes again and keep them closed the whole time I'm talking to you. Keep rubbing your thumbnail as well. The bunny says, this is the secret way to get to the garden. If, after a while, you realise you've stopped, it doesn't matter. Just start rubbing your thumb again or close your eyes again when you remember. There are five stepping stones leading to the garden in front of you and the bunny is jumping on them 
and wants you to follow. You take your shoes and socks off because the stepping stones go through a shallow little stream. Here we go. I'll count them down. Five. Can you feel the cool, smooth stone under your bare feet? It feels so good. Follow the bunny. Four. Listen. Can you hear the babbling sound of the water trickling over the stones? Take another step. Three. Little fishes have come to join you. Can you see them glinting and splashing in the sunlight? They are swimming around your stepping stone. Some swim ahead so you can follow them. Two. As you step deeper into this magical place, you can smell the cool green grass and lovely scented flowers. Follow the bunny. One. The colours are becoming brighter, the smells becoming more fragrant, and everything is becoming more beautiful with every step. The little birds are singing a sweet melody as you step fully into the magic garden. You can hear the butterflies and bees flitting and buzzing about. They are so happy to see you stepping deep into the garden. Take a nice long breath in through your nose. Let it go and relax and look around you. You can smell such wonderful scents of roses, lavender, honey, coconut. What else can you smell? Mmm, yes. It's the most beautiful place. The kind of place where teddy bears might play hide and seek or have a picnic under the shade of the rustling trees. Oh, the bunny says they often do. You can stop rubbing your thumb now, but remember that's the secret way to enter the garden any time you feel you want to return or just to feel calm. Now the bunny is introducing you to the worry bee. But you don't have to worry about bees here because nothing bad can happen in this garden. The bee is buzzing a special hello in bee talk. Bzzz. And you can say hello. Go on. That's right. That's nice. She's called the worry bee because you can tell her any worries you have and she will take them far away so you don't have to think about them anymore. Is that a good idea? Would you like to try? Because you don't have to hold on to horrible feelings. You can just let them go. Oh, good. She's listening now, so you can tell her all your worries or problems or anything that might be upsetting you, however big or small. You can tell her out loud or you can tell her in your mind. No one else needs to know. So I'll be quiet for a little while so you can tell her your worries and maybe your toys will tell her their worries too. Go ahead and tell her right now.
If you need a bit more time to speak to the worry bee, you can pause the video now and she can still listen to everything you have to say, then press play when you've finished. Good. That was very good. Wasn't that easy? Notice how much better you're feeling now. You don't have to think about those things anymore. Because the bee is going to take them far away. The bee was just telling me how great you are that you're much braver than you think and how much you are loved just for being who you are. Wow. She is now flying up and over a wall further inside the garden. There must be another garden on the other side of that wall. Yes. She's going deeper into the garden. Shall we follow her? There is so much fun to be had in this garden. The bunny is hopping about excitedly. It wants you to follow the bee. You can go through that creaky old wooden gate in the garden wall, but it's locked. See if you can find the key. But of course, oh yes, you can rub your thumbnail. That's the key, isn't it? Well remembered. So rub your thumb and open the creaky old gate. Oh my goodness, in the middle of this beautiful walled garden is the magic tree. And there are all sorts of talking animals on it and living in it, peeping out of holes in its trunk and all kinds of fairies. Some are sitting on branches, brushing their hair with twigs. Some are laughing and chattering with their friends. And when they do, all around them lights up and becomes twinkly with little tiny sparkles of light like stardust. It is so wonderful and magical and the sun is shining and you feel so comfortable and warm. You decide to sit under the tree. That's it. There's a soft blanket waiting for you and you can look up at all the activity in the branches above you. The bunny snuggles up next to you for a little snooze. You are stroking the bunny and snuggling and the bunny rubs your thumbnail with its little velvety nose to remind you that it's your secret key to this peaceful place whenever you want to come here. And if you like, you can have a little snooze here under the tree for a while, cuddling the bunny. As you close your eyes for a snooze, two of the fairies fly down towards the top of your head and gently comb your hair with a pine cone. That feels so relaxing. They are soothing away any remaining cares and tensions. Mm. The worry bee is landing on some bright yellow daffodils and other pretty flowers, buzzing from flower to flower and whispering into their little open trumpets. One of the fairies is whispering into your ear now. She wants you to say, I choose to be happy five times. Let's do it together. Ready? I choose to be happy. 
I choose to be happy. I choose to be happy. I choose to be happy. I choose to be happy. You feel so good and so happy now. This is just the best place. And to think you can come here whenever you want. You have your special key and your imagination. That's all you need. But now the sun is going down and it's time to leave. The bunny is hopping about excitedly again. So let's follow it through the gate and we are back into the outer garden. Oh, the fairies are following. I think they want you to wave. Let's wave goodbye to them now. Bye bye fairies. See you next time. Now the bunny has jumped onto the first stepping stone. I am going to count them and with every number I count you will slowly begin to wake up and by the time we get to number five you will open your eyes and be fully awake, feeling completely refreshed, feeling really wonderful, brave and happy. One stepping stone, two, slowly waking up, three, take a nice deep breath in and let it go, four, take a big stretch. Five. Waving goodbye to the bunny now. Bye bye bunny. See you next time. That's strange. Your shoes and socks are back on your feet. How did that happen? Now you are back home and feeling wonderful, brave and calm. Bye bye. It was lovely talking to you. I hope you enjoyed the story and I'd love you to listen to it again. Whenever you feel you have any new worries you want to tell the worry bee, or maybe you just enjoyed the story and you'd like to go back and see the fairies and feel calm. But now you have the key. Anytime you feel worried, you can just rub your thumbnail and close your eyes Take a deep breath in and out and you can get back to the calm place. You don't even really need me to help, but you can watch this video whenever you like. Maybe you could make a worry box at home. Just take an empty tissue box and decorate it with worry bees and pretty flowers. Then write down on a piece of paper any worries or things that are bothering you or draw a picture of them and then put them in the worry box. Then you can stop thinking about them. Every now and again you can get them out and see if they're still worrying you and if they're not you can just throw them in the bin. So it's bye bye from Auntie Mimi and the Magic Garden. Bye bye from the Worry Bee and the Bunny and the Fairies. Bye bye and be happy. Lots of love.